Hi everybody and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is being brought to you by a question and a comment on my channel from Hayden. Now Hayden's asked me how we can fix the laid off position at the top of the backswing. So this is what this video is all about. So just for the viewers who don't know what laid off position is at the top of the backswing, it would be where the club points a long way to the left hand side of the golf course as I stand here as a right handed golfer. So it's that kind of position at the top of the backswing, which I kind of quite like a little bit, because I've always crossed lined in my golf swing. Laid off kind of looks like heaven to me. Uh, I've never been able to get there. Let me explain to you how it can happen, and let me explain to you how we can fix it, which is important for Hayden. So, one of the things that happens to me is the rotation and the way the arms move, the forearms move in the backswing, causes the club to get misaligned. And the relationship between the lower forearm and the wrist in particular caused this to happen. So as we get to the top of the backswing, what I see with a lot of guys that lay the, lay the club off is they tend to rotate their wrist and the wrist gets kind of cupped, but it also gets rotated to so the thumb points a long way to the left hand side over here. And the forearm quite often rotates this way too. So we have a kind of too much what I'd call pronation, if you like, in the forearm on the way back and the wrist goes that way and points to the left hand side. So. For me, I want to see what I call these knuckles here on your lower part of your forearm here. I want to see them stay fairly neutral with the wrist. So one of the best drills for it is to do exactly what I'm doing here. You grab those knuckles there with your finger and thumb, the thumb this side. You make a backswing with your left hand only for a right-handed golfer. You try and maintain that position. And then what you try and do is at the top of the swing, make sure that's rotated a little bit away towards this camera here. So it's rotated away from you. Obviously, the more we rotate this, the more cross line the club will get. Now, some people will cross line by using a lot of wrist cupping and a lot of wrist kind of bending back on ourselves, a lot of wrist extension. I want to make sure that we get in the forearm and wrist pretty aligned, but we feel like the elbow and the forearm rotate the correct amount. This elbow is going to point almost behind my right or trail shoe. That gets me the feeling of getting that club in that more neutral position or even feeling cross line position at the top for Hayden particularly. So the guys that swing it online or swing it cross lined, this kind of information is no good to you at all. But for the guys that do lay the club off, which is obviously going to be a few people, keeping this relationship between the three units, like the elbow, the knuckle bones I call them here, and the wrist, is majorly important. For those guys who just struggle with the relationship between the wrist and the forearms and the arm anyway in the backswing, the same drill will help give you some control and quality. It'll also help the left arm probably stay straight and create that width in your arms also. So it'll certainly help your arm alignment and structure in your backswing regardless of what plane you're on, cross-lined, orthodox or laid off. So don't be scared to try it just to give you some feels and also will help the dominancy within your arms. So I see that a lot with golfers. A lot of golfers fish through the golf ball with the right hand because the right hand's too dominant. So it helps that as well. So the drill would be quite simply, make a practice swing, finger and thumb on there, get that feeling, get that elbow point in the right position, and then maybe get a golf swing, swing it back, feel like your elbow points over here. Then you might go ahead and hit a golf ball, trying to feel like your elbow points in the same place. Again, to get the club looking quite cross-lined for me is quite easy because it's what I've always done all my life. I want to feel it more laid off for sure. But if you have got the laid off position, check out elbow, knuckle bones, and wrist and where they're pointing at the top of the backswing. And mostly their journey from halfway back to the top. That is very important. If you wanted to, you could stick a T-peg on your elbow and just do some directional stuff and look where that points. That would also help you as a drill. So feel free to try that out and see how you get on with that. If you've liked this video, please click like down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got regular content coming every week on a variety of subjects. Thanks for watching. Please chat, chat down below. Tell me what videos you want me to do in the future. I'd hopefully see you again here soon.